For several years, the Lord's Resistance Army led by fugitive Joseph Kony caused mayhem in parts of northern Uganda, killing, abducting, and mutilating hundreds of people as UPDF fought them. The U.S. issued a bounty of $5 million on Kony in 2021, but his whereabouts are unknown, though reports have suggested that he could be hiding in Sudan. On Saturday, 61 people who include 14 former LRA combatants, their wives and children, were repatriated from Central African Republic. According to the Amnesty Commission, the Ministry of Defense is in charge of the returnees. NTV spoke to the Commission's Chief Legal Officer, Nathan Twino. They are still in Entebbe, around Entebbe there. They are being debriefed, and after some short time, they will be taken uh, to northern Uganda. They will first be taken to some place in uh, Michela. When they leave the UPDF holding center, the Amnesty Commission will then be responsible for them. Uh, then they will be taken to near their places where they came from, Guru. And then we will be involved now with the process of resettlement, reintegration will begin. And that's where the Amnesty Commission will be fully involved. Since the former rebels, their wives and children have experienced many ordeals, the Commission will provide them with psychosocial support. So we have a process of counseling and psychosocial support. And we have partners whom we refer them to. As is the norm, the returnees will be given a startup package before they are integrated into the community. A mattress, some three holes. Uh, we give them um, beans, like uh, kilos of beans, three, three kilos of beans and maize to plant, blankets, and uh, little money we used to give them an equivalent of uh, US dollars, but we haven't revised it. It used to be 263,000. Is the 263,000 shillings package too little? given the country's current economic situation. If you give them too much, and you know, this will look like you are rewarding, you are encouraging to them to be in rebellion. According to Amnesty leadership, more than 100 ex-combatants of ADF in Central African Republic are waiting to be repatriated into the country, and they do not want to test the depth of the river with two legs, thus they are observing to see how the 61 who were repatriated recently are going to be integrated. But the million dollar question is, how will the communities where they are going to be integrated comprehend this, owing to the fact that some of these families where they are going to be living could have lost their loved ones during the insurgence that was mated by the same rebel group. These are their children and they accept them. They live among them. And this was, after all, their wish that uh, this war ends and their children come back. So far, at least 28,000 former LRA rebels and their families have been repatriated. It is hoped that the capture of Joseph Cony, one of the most wanted in the world, will go a long way in demobilizing the LRA rebels. Sudil Yerhanga, NTV.